Hello and welcome to episode 28 of series 5 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Today's episode is a jam-packed one. We've got 5th place Leeds, 3rd place West Brom and 2nd place Norwich to take on. But first off we have a question that needs answering. Has that Manchester United thrashing in the FA Cup killed our confidence? Let's find out. Before we get into what promises to be a barn burner of an episode, we have the highlights of four off-air games to get through. Let's go and take a look, starting with 9th place Derby. And the first half at St Mary's was particularly disappointing. Nothing happened. In fact, it was Wayne Rooney's Derby County that had 68% possession at St Mary's. Disgraceful. And in the 82nd minute, it was Big Wazza himself who popped up with a goal. Not good. But thankfully, as has happened so many times this season, and will surely continue to, it was a James Ward-Prowse free kick in the 93rd minute that salvaged us a point from this game. We came away with a 6 rating from this one, certainly not our best performance. And even with the draw, we still remained 5 points clear of 2nd place Norwich, ahead of a long journey north to a snowy Hillsborough to take on Sheffield Wednesday, currently slap bang bottom of the table. And after the disappointment against Derby, on the back of that horrible, horrible loss to Manchester United in the FA Cup, we came out all guns blazing in this one. And in just the 14th minute, we won the ball back very smartly and then crafted a beautiful outside of the boot pass into Abba Femi to grab our fifth assist of the season and the first goal of this game. But unfortunately, that lead was short-lived. In the 34th minute, Sheffield equalised through Chelsea Loney, Izzy Brown, and the game was suddenly back on. In the 45th minute, we had a massive chance save. Would have been a great goal. And we went in at the half honours even against the worst side in the league. Had our bottle really gone? That was the question on everyone's lips. Had the Manchester United game really taken the wind out of ourselves that badly this season? Well, we came out in the second half and things went from bad to worse. Sheffield got their second again through Izzy Brown. And then just 25 minutes later, Brown got his third. Wow, and what a finish and what a goal it was. And the game ended up there. 3-1 loss, our worst performance of the season as a team. We came away with a six, but not good, not good. Without a win in our last three, our early season form has certainly dropped off. And next up, we invited Coventry to St Mary's, 12th place Coventry. And the first half was just about as terrible as our form, a nil-nil. We came out in the second half and uh, we managed to win a free kick. And obviously, J-Dub steps up, dispatches it coolly as he tends to do. In the 90th minute, Che Guevara made it 2-0, but that was a flattering scoreline, um, but one we desperately needed, despite not playing very well. The three points were ours. We only had two shots on target, though, in the entire game. And somehow, we came away with an unlikely 7 rating for this one, despite no goals or assists. We did win the free kicks. So that doesn't count really as an assist. But for a change, it was our defensive abilities, rather than our offensive ones, that got us the points. Lots of interceptions, lots of tackles. Ralph was happy to see that. And of course, with the win, we stayed top. And personally, we had some good stat increases. Acceleration up, low pass up. Were Southampton as well back on the up? That was the question, and uh, we were about to find the answer against 18th place Rotherham. We took on at home. With just half an hour gone, I thought we'd got another assist, but it was in fact an own goal. We did really, really well down that right-hand side. Good ball in and a great finish from the Rotherham defender. Half-time though, stats not looking good. Zero shots on target for us in 50-50 possession, but obviously we had the goal. And Rotherham came out strong in the second half, and in the 74th minute they missed a big, big chance. We also missed one in the 77th, but we ended up 1-0. A poor win. Nine shots from us, only two of which went on target. We were on a blue arrow, we weren't able to score a goal. But the biggest problem was, Ralph played us the full 90 a game. We were absolutely knackered. We've been playing every game, we've been running our heart out, but it looked like it might be taking its toll. And sadly, take its toll, it did. Yep, another injury. We've had quite a few in our career so far. And diagnosis here, muscle inflammation. That totally makes sense. We were being run into the ground by Big Ralph. Obviously we're a key player in this side now, we're contributing goals, assists, but also defensively. You've got to say that's poor management, we should have been rested in one of those games. No rotation at all by Ralph Arsenhutl, and it's cost us. And it's going to cost us a place in uh, the team for what is going to be a big game. Third place West Brom, away from home, gutted. If we miss the Leeds game as well, which I think we might, that is going to be a real kick in the teeth. Uh, the potential big one, though, will come in this episode. Norwich away. <sighs> Second place Norwich. We want to finish top of the table. We've had such a great start. We've kept all of our best players. We deserve to be there, really. 
And the good thing is we will be back by then at least. How long are we out for then? Let's take a look. Four days. Oh, that'll take us literally onto the Leeds game. It's going to be very interesting to see how we get on against West Brom today. A loss and a win for Norwich. Could see them in a position to go top of the table when we do play them. And West Brom are only eight points behind, so a win for them would really shake things up. We just cannot even begin to flirt with the idea of going into the playoffs. It cannot happen. But our form has been very poor. <sighs> Come on, please, 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 please. Yes. Oh, no. It's a draw. Damn it. Okay, I'll take it. Norwich do get points, though, against Rotherham. One all. Well, away from home, I suppose, against another really good side. That's not a bad result. But that gap now, very, very small. Eight points between us and third, though. That needs to stay massively. Right, are we going to be back in time for the Leeds game? That's going to be interesting to see. We've made 78 appearances so far in our career. I would say we've missed, including the leg break, 10 games at least. Quite a few. Quite a high percentage, really. <laughs> anyway, last day of the transfer window. We didn't have any interest in us throughout the transfer window. Will there be a last second bid for us? No. Will we be playing against Leeds? I think this might have come just a little too soon. It is four days, but then it could be four days out. No, we're still absent. <sighs> this is crucial, absolutely crucial game to be missing. Oh, dearie me. Flashbacks of the end of last season, the end of our time at Girona, where we missed out in the playoffs, quite possibly because we got a broken leg. Come on, we need a win here, guys. 1-0, wow, we love a single goal win at St Mary's, we've had quite a few. And Norwich versus West Brom, another big game at the top of the table. That certainly was a super day of football, match day 26. And Norwich with a 2-0 win, interesting. They do have a four point advantage over us in terms of goal difference, but the game coming, well not next, but the one after, could see Norwich go top of the table. West Brom dropping off though, that's, that's good. We'd still like to uh, finish first there if we can. Up to 73 rated. Looking good. Do some defensive improvements soon. And finishing as well up to 62. Still yet to move off the expected progress line. I wonder if we'll ever get a dramatic improvement. Anyway, hopefully we're back in the team today against Wickham. And then we can uh, get a running start into Norwich. And we are starting. Good stuff. We've got the all clear. Good. Confirm we're ready to go. And we're starting at right midfield. Let's get into it. Let's get a win here. Yeah, of course. This is against a Wickham side who've signed Pedri from Barcelona. What a signing that was. Uh, we're on poor form. We've had a lot of poor form. James Ward-Prowse there. His expression. Summing it up for us. <sighs> Can't get a break. Can't get a break. But at least we've got full energy. No Danny Ings today. Oh, but Femi starts up top. We've had a few good games linking up with him. So I'm not too concerned there. Right. Massively need a win here to get us going, get us revved up for the Norwich game. Let's do this. So here we are at Adams Park for the first time, and it looks lovely. There's the Lord stand. We've got you covered. Look at that. That's a brilliant stadium. Love it. Absolutely love it. In theory, this should be three points today. We had a bit of a wobble after the Manchester United game, but we've managed to grind out a few much-needed 1-0 since then. And despite the poor performances, we're still top of the table. Definitely need a win today. Come on. That's falling out to us nicely. Push it into the path of James Ward-Prowse. Shea Adams on the turn. Oh, great effort and lovely save there. Big, big save to start this game off. Just two minutes in. Shea Adams very, very close to taking the lead for us there. Simple stuff into J-Dubs. One touch. Two touches. Creates the space. Big, big save. Bit of space here. Can we race away from Pedri? Surely we've got him for, for power. Oh, there's a ball on here to Shea Adams. It's not a bad one. Oh, good defending. Oh, good pressure. Forcing the mistake there. We're through now. Oh, and it's a good block. Shea Adams overhead kick. Damn it. That was a good opportunity. We did well to hustle the ball back. Could be another opportunity here, though. Looking for Shea Adams. Lovely turn from the number 10. That's got to be very, very tight. It's not at all. Robert Femi on the turn. Finds Adams. Oh, lovely reverse ball to find Robert Femi again. We want it into the box here. Oh, Stewart out of nowhere, but we've got it back. Oh, no, Jacobson wins it, but it's flighted in now towards Shea Adams. Don't know if that was an Adams touch or a defender, but Yates collects. And half an hour gone here. We've not really created anything, and personally, we're playing really badly. We've lost the ball far too many times already. Boo foul now. We need to see a bit more imagination from him. We've dropped inside nicely here. Oh, through the legs of Stewart. And then the left-footed effort straight at the keeper. We really could have taken a breath then. 
Could have taken some time to line that up. Got fortunate with the nutmeg. Put the shot straight at the keeper just wasn't good enough. Oh, good defensive work there. Could have time for a final attack in this half. Well, Prowse is with us. Oh, that's a good run. Shea Adams, he's offside. He's not. Oh, great effort. Bufal on the rebound and he's there to get our goal very, very late on in this half. It's been all Southampton. Wickham have been content just to sit back, soak up the pressure. It's not worked for them, though. Good counter-attack there. And we were the catalyst for that, winning it back really strongly. Good ball in the end into Shea Adams. And Bufal was there to pounce. He's had a pretty uneventful first half out on that left-hand side. But he's come away with a goal for his troubles today. Unnecessary outside of the boot left-footed pass there. <laughs> Shea Adams tight angle. Difficult opportunity, but Bufal slotted it away comfortably in the end. And what a way to end what has been a disappointing half of football. Have Wickham got a reply of their own with just a minute left here? Freeman edge of the box. We're out to meet him. Ward Prowse gets a touch. Please don't give up. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. You absolute idiots. No. And we were so happy having scored the goal that took us ahead just before the half. But that is just sloppy in the extreme to give that away. I don't know what sort of defending this is, but it's not the sort they teach you in defending school. We were there. We did well. We got the ball back. But that is just weak from Salisu. Should have cleared it. Had plenty of opportunities just to put his boot through it. Clear the pressure. I mean, that just shouldn't happen. We sort of did enough there, you feel. But that is weak. That's a good finish in the end, but... Damn it. Well, people are saying that our bottle has gone. And it's only going to be downhill from here. I'm starting to agree with them, to be honest. And as the rain falls here at Adams Park, it's not looking good. I mean, we are dominant, and they've only had one shot, and it was a goal. But I can totally see them hanging on to this one all. They've been difficult to break down. Very defensive. And we are not having a good game. We need to improve. Ralph, I'm sure, will be having words right now. We need to come out all guns blazing. Oh, lovely flick on there. Obafemi finds us. Good effort, but again, straight down Yates's throat. Damn it. It sat up so nicely. It just had to be hit. We did have Adams as an option in the centre. We've got to start providing some width. That's a lovely ball out to find us. We'll go back to J-Dubs. All right then, mate. There we go. Out of the feet. Whip it in. Oh, that's a good ball. Adams far post. Gets the header. But again, we're lacking conviction with the finishing. Oh, that's a poor ball. We'll pick that up and find Ward Prowse. Oh, Obafemi lets it run. That's really cute. Away from Stewart. Good ball in. Looking for Adams. And the header is away. Only as far as Ward Prowse here. Surely if anyone can pick a ball, it's him. And he does. Can we cut it back here for Shea Adams? It's great defending. It is really, really good defending there. We're pushing and pushing. But that will be our last involvement of this game. We didn't have a good one. Can we find that all-important second goal? We're certainly the better side today. Oh, good ball. Freeman will keep it in. Please, no. No. Oh, no, no, no. Boo foul. That's almost guaranteed winner here. And it's Pedri or Freeman over this. Bloody hell. That is rare. Good save there. Can we now turn that into an attack? No. I think this game might be finishing one all, you know. Final two minutes here, and it's Wickham who looked like they could steal something here. Pedri, edge of the box. His effort is deflected well over the bar, but what a terrible end to the game this would be. If the home side were able to grab a winner here late on, the Wickham fans are off their seats. God, that is close. Far too close. And with just 30 seconds left here, this game is certainly not the uh, running start that we wanted. Going up against Norwich, but there could be a final effort here. But it's not to be. And it is one all here. Two goals within a minute. Or two minutes at the end of the first half. And that was about all the action. We did not play well. We did not play well at all. In the end, we actually had less possession. More opportunities. So we've managed to come away with a seven. That's odd. Uh, we misplaced a lot of passes. We had shots on target. Good. Five interceptions. Two tackles. One. I guess that is good as well. Not bad, we just ran out of steam really, coming back from an injury. We didn't quite look up to speed. 
We really need to be up to speed. One thing we've lacked recently is any good form. And with Norwich being beaten 3-0 by Leeds, we will stay top. But that could have been very, very different. And now we have a chance to take a six-point lead over second place Norwich. Leeds United now within 10 points of us, but that's good. Results have gone our way elsewhere. And only three days later. Blimey, we're going to be tired for this. Luckily, we were substituted. Ralph has learned his lesson in a small way, at least. Let's see how the form is. We could really do with a blue arrow today. We'll take sideways. We've been on downwards form for the last two games. Uh, we're up against Norwich City. Cantwell, Buendia. Danger. Much like us, this is a side full of, in many cases, Premier League quality players that they've managed to keep hold of. We've got Pookie up top. Buendia and Cantwell on the wings. That's a match for Redmond and Hunter any day of the week. Probably the two best players in those positions in the league. They've got Aaron's at right back. This is a good team. Really good team. 69 rated keeper. Um, and we are unfortunately starting the veteran 34 year old Yoshida at right back. Captains of the side today. That doesn't bode too well. Uh, ben Foster on a blue. That's good. Regen Charlie Daniels. Fine. That's small bone unfortunately in for... Uh, oh, where's Ward Prowse? Ward Prowse, absolutely dead. Ralph, you've got to start rotating these players. You've got so many players. I would have much rather have seen Romeu in for Smallbone, but we'll take it. Obafemi and Ings back in today. They're well up for this one. This is a huge game. The Fark versus Harsen Hootel. Two exciting young managers going head to head today. Let's get into it. So here we are at a snowy Caro Road. I wonder if Delia's around. Can you see her? She's probably in one of the hospitality suites. Getting some gins in her early doors. Let's be Avenue. I'm sure she'll be shouting. This is a massive, massive game. A win for Norwich today could certainly see them, well, it would see them, close the gap on us and give them the belief that they need to try and grab that top spot. We really want to win the league. We want to fly back up to the Premier League as the uh, first place team in the championship. And a win today would give us a really good chance of doing that. Yes, yes, Nathan. Oh, lovely footwork. Not a bad hit either. Not a bad hit at all. McGovern, well equal to it. Vestergaard plays it into us. We've got Smallbone to one side. We'll go early into Abafemi. He's stayed on side. Good ball into Nishida. Nishida puts it into the box and it's blocked. We get our first corner of the game. 15 minutes gone here at Carrow Road. Can we find something here? It's been all Norwich so far. But a set-piece opportunity. We've got some big players in the box. We're not one of them. And that is a good header just wide. I think that might have been Abafemi. It's a big chance. Unmarked in the end. Couldn't get it on target. That's a nice ball. Looking for Ings. Gibson aware. Oh, actually, that was our ball, actually. Oh, it's flighted over the top. You love it. Oh! Falling over the shoulder there. We had a big, big chance to get a foot on that one. Couldn't get any connection. Redmond. It's a ball in with the left foot. Aaron's clears with his back. Easy take here. Oh, there's a ball onto Danny Ings. He's got to finish this. Danny, you've got to finish this. Yes! We have been second best in this half so far. But Danny Ings there showing his quality as a centre forward. The intelligent run. Found the little pocket of space. And uh, yeah, it was always going to be easy for us to find him there. That was the easiest through ball we've had to play this season. And in the end, it's just really poor defending. What a lovely shot of the stadium that is. But Ings... Given space in the box, he's never going to miss that. Oh, easy interception there. Could there be a second before the end of the half? No, not like that. Oh, oh, mistake. Ings, Redmond, flight it in. Godfrey gets to it. Well, what an exciting end to the half it is here in Norwich. And that was a goal massively against the run of play. But we'll obviously take it. Look at that 65% possession. Daniel Farker's side coming out playing some really good football. Not creating too many chances. We had the same amount, but crucially, we finished ours. We left them late, but we grab an assist today. Something that was much, much needed. And we've got a great platform here for this second half to come out and just play a little bit better. Just take control of the game a bit more. Aaron's cuts back. What a danger he is out on that wing. And hell, we try to put the pressure on. Norwich have done this all game. They've controlled things really well on the edge of their box. And hell dances through two there. The save is in the end fairly comfortable. A bit of warning shots already. Oh, well won back. Counter attack is on here. Obafemi. Oh, it does really well to keep hold of it. We'll put it into us here. 
Oh, look to play it back into Obafemi. It has found him. Wow, good defending to come across. Almost. Oh, really well won there. An opportunity here. Let's play it into Danny Ings for number two. Oh, but we were taken out in the process of passing there. And this has got J-Dubs written all over it. We did well. Skip came somersaulting in there, but we were taken out. It looks like that's hurt us a bit. But can we hurt Norwich now? Oh, no. Ward Prowse isn't on the pitch. It's going to be Smallbone into the wall. Damn it. No J-Dubs. No luck. Can we now hit him on the break? Smallbone's made a clever run. Not such a clever pass, but we get away with it there. And then Pookie absolutely nails us there. That is horrible. And a yellow card for him. And rightly so. We've taken a couple of nasty challenges today. And considering how injury prone we are at the moment, that is a little worrying. Norwich still patiently building around the edge of the box in a game that has such significance to the outcome of this season. Who will win the league? It could be decided in the next few seconds. As Norwich keep coming. Time is up here. The referee being very generous. Benson spreads it wide. Buendia in space. Emi Buendia now. 94 minutes on the clock. That's a good ball in. Can we get it cleared? Yes, we can. And we get the win here. A huge, huge win in the complexion of this championship title race. But the Norwich fans and players today will feel, I'm sure, very hard done by. Let's take a look at the stats. Yeah, 67% possession. But we did our job. We kept it tight at the back. They only, only allowed them two shots on target. And crucially, when we had an opportunity, Danny Ings was there to put it away. A stroker of his quality, unlikely to miss in that situation. And we grabbed the assist as well to grab another seven. Our average ratings are looking good at the moment. And another assist to our tally. And a crucial, crucial three points importantly taken away from our nearest rival. Leeds United winning could see them go, no, not quite. But there we are, six points clear of Norwich. You love to see it. What a game that was. We just soaked up all the pressure and then got the goal when we had the opportunity. Six assists now for the season. 11 goal contributions in 26. It's not great. The average rating is fine. 6.2 average rating is good. We're on track for, I think, our highest average rating in any one season so far. I think so. I think so. We've certainly felt the step up though to the championship. It has been a far tougher test, not just physically, but in terms of all-round play. Um, we need to develop a bit quicker, don't we? We need another man of the match. We've still got a few focus points to use. A uh, long couple of weeks here before the next game, Stoke City. And we've not got long, I don't think, left in this season. Look at that. Jay Hunter's pass was an absolute beauty. I owe him one. Dingsy, don't worry about it, mate. Buy me a pint when we've... Uh, won the league. So we've got one, two, three, four, 18 games remaining. Wow. We're making fairly good progress with the injury and the games played off air. So let's finish the episode up at St. Mary's and see how we do on the back of uh, what was a scrappy but important win. Romeo and Ward Prowse in the midfield. That's what you love to see. Gineppo out on the left. Everyone's looking pretty happy. Still, we can't find better form than Sideways Arrow. It's beginning to be somewhat of a concern, but we keep winning, we keep getting good ratings, not too concerned. So we seem to be experiencing some sort of nuclear winter at the moment because it is snowing a lot. What month are we in now? I think we're in March. Are we in March? Good stat though, it's more likely to snow at Easter than it is at Christmas. Did you know that? No? Nope. Well now you do. Interesting weather fact number 146 I think. Anyway, back at St Mary's off the back of a crucial, crucial victory. Can we keep the good form going against a decent Stoke side? Oh, lovely work, Elba Femi. Now Danny Ings taken out edge of the box. Up steps the J-Dub, surely 1-0 here. Maybe a little close. Maybe a little close, but you wouldn't put it past him. He scored more difficult free kicks this season. Up and over in the back of the net. The sniper, the South Coast sniper strikes again. Ball looking for Elba Femi. Oh, we'll latch onto that. You haven't scored in a while. That's not how you do it. Damn it. We really have lost our scoring touch. But Girona, end of the season. We were firing them in for fun. Um, that was as good as an opportunity as we're going to get, I'm sure, in this game. Fell very kindly to us. Can Gineppo find us edge of the box? Oh, there's a slip there. Damn. Could not wrap our foot around that. We're desperate for a goal at the moment. We've lost our touch in front of goal. And that was a great example. And that'll be half-time here at St. Mary's. J-Dubs is... 
millionth free kick goal of the season in just the seventh minute. Sees us ahead here in uh, a game which we've controlled. It's been nice to feel like we can take control of a game after some of our recent performances. Stoke haven't really provided much in the way of opposition. We need a second goal in this second half to kill this off. Or it's just another 1-0 to the Saints, which is fine. Which is fine. Although I'm getting a little bit tired of our play style. The, the long ball counter-attacking just means it's a punted ball up to either Ings or Adams or whoever's playing up top. It so rarely works. It's a little bit annoying. I don't want to leave Southampton, but I would like to play at a team who plays more attractive football. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, no. What a save that is. What a save. Vokes denied. By some top-tier goalkeeping there. Pretty sure it was Sam Vokes. It's a good ball in. Good flick off there. And at full stretch. That is some save there. With the help of Romeo, we won that back really well. Arsene Hootel fairly happy just to sit back in the rest of this game. Ings lays it off. That's nice. It'll open up here. Oh, that's a better hit. Finally, a much better hit. Forcing a good save that time. Oh, good scrapping there. Oh, and Klukas wanted a bit of afters, and that's hurt us there. That has hurt us. And a yellow card for Klukas. And rightly so. He looked frustrated having lost the ball. And that is late and nasty. Are we still on the pitch? We are. We've had some rough treatment in recent games. Oh, we found Romeo. We're foul there again. This is much better in terms of... Oh, not again. Oh, that position on the pitch is really bad luck for us. That's where we broke our leg before, and we look to be in a substantial amount of pain. We've had a good few... Oh, no, not a stretcher again, please. We are turning into the Jack Wilshire of Southampton. We just seem to invite dangerous challenges and injuries. That's no good. Come on, James. Teach him a lesson. Teach him a lesson! Yes! <laughs> Never in doubt. And we get the goal that will surely clinch this one. And now we can just concentrate again on being sad about what is probably another leg break. Hopefully it's not the same leg. Hopefully it's not too horrible long-term an injury. But I get the feeling it probably is going to be just by the, the look on our face there. Should be able to see this one out with just a couple of minutes left. It's not been a classic by any stretch of the imagination. But we don't really do classics. We're a pretty boring long ball team. That's what I've come to realise. We've just got enough quality in the championship to eke out 1-0 wins. I think we're going to struggle in the Premier League. And I'm starting to think maybe if an offer came in... No, no, no. We, we need to stay at a club for more than a season. So there we are. Two Ward-Prowse goals. Was it two free kicks? Was the first? I think the first two free kicks. It's ridiculous. We are basically a special teams team. It's like we play for position, <laughs> like a rugby team, and then we kick for the posts every time. But it, it has been working. It has made us look like a slightly more successful team this season than we should be. But can't argue. It's a weapon. He is a weapon. Six point five today. We had a lot of shots. We really wanted a goal. Crosses into the box is good. Lots of attempted tackles anyway. But how bad is the injury news going to be? 2-0 win looking good. Leeds and Norwich win as well. But we'll keep that six-point lead. <sighs> the Hurricane is in trouble again. <laughs> we are absent. Next appearance, a question mark. What is it? A bone fracture. No, <laughs> not again. <laughs> oh, that is bad luck. How long are we going to be out for? That is the question. Oh my god. 11 weeks! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the toll this must be taking on our young body. Two leg breaks. This is surely almost career ending at this stage. If we can come back from this, and that really shows some character and belief and determination. I didn't even know I had. Anyway, on that bombshell, we could be playing in the Premier League a lot quicker than we thought we would. That's certainly going to get through a lot of these games a lot quicker than we planned. We'll see how that works in the next episode. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in a bit.